Hello and welcome back to my channel and welcome to day eight of Christie's from Christie's Beautiful Life, 30 Days of Sketches, Series 7. And today's sketch is by our friend Iris Fox. So that is fun. And it's a fun one. Um, I have to admit it gave me a little bit of trouble. In fact, I was making jokes over in the Facebook group um, saying, you know, that I had advanced and I had done, I think, nine days, nine and ten. But that for the moment, I was just ignoring day eight. And I remembered that back, I think it was in the third series, there was something similar to this. And I tried to make some very particular triangles and it had given me so, so much trouble. So I just sort of mulled this one over for a couple of days. And what I did in the end, and I kind of love the effect, is I took a big plate, um, like a salad luncheon plate, um, did a big circle, cut out my circle, and then basically just cut that circle in all sorts of wonky and random areas. And kept them exactly the way they were and then placed them on a sheet. And this is what I came up with. And you know, I love it. I kind of love it. So really, if you'd like me to do one, I mean, I'm sure you can picture exactly what I did. I just had one big circle. I took my scissors up this way, then that way, then that way. And I just cut it in different angles, different sizes sort of triangular, but not necessarily, and then arranged them on my background. Now, my background, of course, is white scar white cardstock. Have you noticed I've been really, really on a white cardstock kick lately? I'm going to have to see whether I can do something else because it just seems like out of the eight days so far, I think maybe six of them have been on white cardstock. Anyway, a little bit of packaging technique on the background with the Heidi Swap in teal. And then I used a Shimmers in Eggnoggin, but it came out sort of a beigey gold. But I quite like it because actually it sort of matches the coat right here in this per in, in, in the photo. Uh, the, this person's coat, I should say. So then I did a lot of splattering because on Iris's sketch, there's quite a lot of splattering in the background. So I splattered with both the teal and the egg noggin. And then it makes for quite an easy and simple layout. I backed it on uh, an almost navy type cardstock um, and the background. I took my photo and I cropped it a little bit. So it's smaller than a four by six. It's probably about a three and a half, uh, three and a half maybe by five or something. Um, matted it. And then I got some lovely tissue paper out in gold. And this was some tissue paper that I received when I got one of my Shadney orders. And I popped that on the back. And then another fun, um, piece of pattern paper here from the Rosie Studio Splendid Paper Pad. That's what I'm working with here. My How to Kill a Kit with Style for March. Pop that up on foam and put my photo in the middle. I have only the one fo uh, photo as opposed to the two in the sketch, but it sort of does the same thing. And I may be just a touch more askew because that is what I tend to do my title down here signed because this photo will go into my um career album and this is back in the early 90s when i was still in the aircraft industry and this was after signing a contract the aircraft that i was working on as i've mentioned before is the water bomber um a firefighting airplane and this was signing a contract with a very new newly formed country croatia uh, just after Croatia became a country. And I think that happened sort of in 91 or so, but although there was still um, sort of a little bit, a lot of civil unrest. So I think this might have been sort of like 93 before it all settled down or so. I'm going to have to go back and see 
the exact year. So signed now and passport. Um, as I showed you when I did my How to Kill a Kid, I pulled out some lovely Scrap and Happy Studio flair that I wanted to get used up this month as well. And then I went into my Nicole Jones 911 uh, digital prints and I got some of the hearts out in turquoise. Uh, so now um, the little arrow, the hearts um, are popped up on foam. This one, the solid color is flat to the page. And there you have it. In the end, a fairly simple layout, but I love it. So make sure you pop on down below and follow all of the links. Of course, as I've mentioned before, there are tons and tons and tons of awesome, awesome creatives playing along with us. Lots of our friends, both here on YouTube and on Instagram. Not everyone is playing along every day, but pop on down below, follow some links, look for the thumbnail, use the hashtag, hashtag three zero, DSCBL7. Um, tag us if you play along as well. And I will see you back here again tomorrow. Thanks for being here. Bye, my friends.